This is a surprise. When Mom and Victor told me they were getting married here tonight, I freaked. <laughs> Victor pulled some strings, of course, and got us a license. I don't know how you do it. Well, we all set. If you're willing to stand up for us. You mean like a maid of honor? That's right. <laughs> you know, uh, you can always ask Nick. Adam, you've been very protective of Ashley and the baby. And if that is not a criterion for best man, I don't know what is. Hi. Hi. Hi Sorry for uh, barging in. What brings you by? Well, um, there are a few things that Nick wanted me to run past you, if you don't mind, while he's dealing with Summer. How was Summer? <sighs> Dad, it's going to be a long road. Sorry to interrupt. We have to get ready. Yes. Ready? For what? Ashley and I getting married tonight. <laughs> uh, when were you going to tell Nick and me after the honeymoon? Well, you know that Ashley and I have been considering this for a while, okay? Why tonight? Because I won it tonight. And we um, had to keep it small for obvious reasons. Too small to invite my father's other children? Victoria has nothing to do with that. We were rushing this. It was very much a last-minute thing. Sweetheart, and because of what happened to Summer, we didn't want to make a big announcement, right? But you're welcome to stay. Mom? I need to talk to you. Please. What are you doing? You know your dad by now, don't you? I do things on the spur of the moment. I don't wait for a damn thing. But please, do not put any pressure on Ashley right now. No stress. Not for her, nor for the baby, all right? I'll explain everything later. Well, I can see that this clearly is not the time to uh, to talk business. No. Why don't we go upstairs and see what you have that says "Maid of Honor"? Okay. okay. Ashley, there's a there's a bag from Fenmore's on your bed. How did you have time to do that? Well, this is your day, you know. You deserve something special. Thanks, Ashley. Uh, wait. Um, I was really I was horrible to you when you first married my father. And I'm never going to forgive myself for the way that I acted when I heard that my dad was going to marry Sabrina. So if, if you don't mind, um, I, I'd like to stay. Victoria, we would love you to stay. Of course. Thank you. Oh, okay, thanks. Hey, babe, what's up? You're kidding. Wow, well, you figured they were going to tie that knot eventually. You okay with all this? Yeah, you sound good. Well, look, uh, Mac needs my help with the security project, but it shouldn't take me too long. I will drink that. <laughs> Cheers. You're so funny. Uh, no, I will not miss the oh. All right, I love you, too. Hey, stranger. Hey, hi! Oh, it's so good to see you. Oh. Wow, uh, you're uh, you're in a good mood. Does Victoria know you're hanging out at bars oh. after hours? <laughs> Actually, I'm looking for Mac. Oh, um, yeah. she's in the back with Kate. Oh, hey, what's going on? Oh, sorry. Um, JT, this is Aiden. Nice to meet you. I'm going for uh, another round. You want to join us? Uh, I'll pass. Thanks. Oh, yeah. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Look, I didn't mean to interrupt your date here. <laughs> it's not a date. <laughs> right. Right. Well, one sure way to bring whatever it is to an end is to have my ex join us, so. Okay, so I, I did interrupt. Look, seriously, are you, uh, you okay with that guy? 
You know what, JT? I already have a cab coming, so... And you don't need to look out for me. I'm fine. Yeah, well, this old ham is dialed. Okay, well, don't you worry, because I'm not going to do anything stupid. I'm thinking Colleen wouldn't be in Kane's bar if she knew about Lily. It's probably better she doesn't know. At least for tonight. Kane's been raked over the coals enough. <laughs> Is there anyone you can't sympathize with? He made a mistake. He's not a monster. Well, look, I mean, if you're not gonna rip into the guy after he conned your grandmother, I sure as hell can't badmouth him. All right, so what uh, security questions do you want to pick my brain about? You got a regular that's getting a little too friendly? You want me to kick him out? <laughs> Point him out, I'll throw him out of here. No, I actually wanted to talk to you about updating the system. I mean, I know the neighborhood's fine, but that murder in the alley freaked me out. Yeah, but... yeah, you mean both. Especially with what happened with Victoria. But isn't uh, insecurity up to the, the owner? You're looking at her. Wait a minute. Kane sold you the bar? Mackenzie Browning owns a bar? Actually, it's perfect for me. I can work here at night and volunteer at the shelter during the day. Oh, of course, because, you know, you couldn't just volunteer at the shelter and live off the chancellor money. What about you? Married to the Newman dynasty, and I bet you put in 50, 60 hours a week. At least. Far cry from the teenager I once knew. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a good thing. He wasn't so bad. All right. Show me around this place. I'll recommend the system, and if you're lucky, I might even install it for you. You don't have to do that. No, what are friends for if they can't offer a little protection? Follow me. Okay. Come in. It's Victoria. Thanks for the heads up. I just thought you'd like to know that the Justice of Peace is on his way. Oh, uh, I'm just wearing the suit for the fun of it. Where's your date? What date? Oh. Were you and Heather broke up? No. She's not invited. I didn't want to upset the groom. That's very sensitive. What about you? Is JT coming or is he back at home playing Mr. Mom again? He'll be here. Any minute. Why aren't you dancing? Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> and I thought Miss Junior League wouldn't know how to have fun. Oh. Don't let the sweater fool you, mister. I can raise hell with the best of them. Let's not get carried away. I haven't seen anything that out of character yet. Uh-huh. Well. How's this crowd of character? Woo! Okay, all right. Time to go. Time to go. Come what? on. No, what? come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The party's just getting started. Oh, let's get out. Oh, I'll be happy to take her home. I'm sure you would. Yes, I'm sure you would. Come on. Going. I oh, love this later. place. I will see you later. Okay. Let's go. Drink this. Look, it wasn't like I was falling down drunk, okay? I was just dancing. Uh, you were doing a little more than dancing. Yeah. Oh my god. My shirt. Okay, go ahead. Make a joke. I'm just glad I was there to get you out in time. Look, can you promise me you will not tell anyone? Of course I'm not going to tell anybody. But listen, you got to be more careful. Doing that, it, it wasn't smart. Believe me, I know. No, I don't know if you do. Look, Victor, it, he he's looking for anything he can do to get you kicked off the Newman board. How do you know? Trust me, I just do. All right, and I don't want you giving him the ammo he needs to make it happen. Thank you. You don't have to tell me this. You're a good friend. 
Thank you for coming by on such short notice. Anything for you, Victor. Thank you. Hello? My daughter's Abby and Victoria. Nice to meet you. Ah. You look beautiful. Your dress makes Fergie's look so off the rack. <laughs> it's stunning, Ashley. Shall we get started? Just one moment. What? Are you all right? Yeah. Everything's perfect. Okay, this isn't too much for you, is it? No, I think Hope's as excited as I am. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, I thought you said that JT's coming. Yeah, I know. He should be here by now. I will love you. And I will honor you. For as long as we both shall live. Repeat after me. I, Victor, take you, Ashley, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I, Victor, take you, Ashley, for my lawfully wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. For richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you for as long as we both shall live. I will love you and will honor you for as long as we both shall live. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Victor Newman. You may kiss your bride. Sure. Yeah. Sure. 